Okay, oh, yeah, yeah, so first thing uh, we're gonna do, we're, we're gonna cover protect our trays. So we lay a paper towel down first, because um, some of our organisms that we're gonna be dissecting are quite gungy. In other words, if there's <laughs> lots of like liquidy grossness in there. Mm. So having a piece of paper towel down helps with absorption of that, um, and it keeps the liquid at bay. Okay. So paper towels down, we're good to go. Other equipment that you'll need, you're gonna need a pair of forceps, okay, dissecting forceps, okay, they're not called tweezers, dissecting forceps. Um, you're going to need a pair of scissors, still called scissors, uh, and you're going to need um, a scalpel and a probe, and there's a blunt probe and a fine probe. Either or works. Um, I like the fine probe, but that's just me, um, but any, either or, any, some of the above, all of the above, there they are. Um, these are your dissecting pins. There's a whole whack back there, so when you get started, just grab a bunch. Okay, so for these scaris, um, we'll take a look at the different types. So this is an example of a male ascaris. Is this slamming? Nope. <laughs> so uh, like, oh, um, you can tell it's male because of the hooked end. Do you see how hooked that is? It's pretty Get the, the zoom. Get a close up. <laughs> yeah, so there's the hooked end, which makes it male. I don't know if we have a female in here. And then this is the female. Notice it's longer. So, so when you have your specimen, um, when, before we do any sort of cutting, we have to do an external analysis, the outside. Um, so take a look. Lots of times it's important to feel, if you feel, especially if there's any sort of grippers on the outside of the worm, which you'll notice with your analyst next class, um, you'll feel them almost pulling at your um, gloves a little bit, and so you can feel if there's anything there. So these worms are completely smooth, very much round, not flat um, and large. So you can kind of compare the ends, if there's anything special or different. I'm looking at which sides, um, the anterior and posterior. There we go, like this. Um, and so to start our dissection, um, we're going to um, secure the specimen down to the faucet, or down to the tray. That's the worst part. Securing the specimen is the worst part. <laughs> okay, so specimen secure. Um, I'm now going to take my scalpel, and I'm going to cut all the way down from one end to the other. Now, I'm not going to go like, ha, and like that, okay? I'm going to be gentle. I want to go just through the top layer of skin. So the best way to use your scalpel is to go very slowly and very softly through. And as you see um, the skin start to cut, you'll see, it, okay, I'm, I'm through the first layer, through the second layer, whatever I need to get through, okay? But if you go through hard right away, you're going to cut your worm in half and you're going to miss everything. Okay, so very gentle. See them already through the first little bit. Okay, so as I go, I'm going to pin open the skin. Now, a couple of things about pinning. Notice how my pin is off to the side. It's not vertically straight up. And the reason it's off to the side is so I can see what's happening inside. If my pin was straight up and down, um, I wouldn't be able to see anything, right? So I'm pinning oops, horizontally. Okay, I'm gonna continue to cut. So you'll notice I'm just peeling and pinning the skin back, right? And by just pinning the skin back, I'm exposing everything inside. And it's literally like there's a bunch of stuff, looks like noodles, sitting inside the body skin. There's nothing holding it together. There's no muscle between the two. There's just like an open cavity. Do we all see that? That's the pseudocelum. All this open space here, that's the pseudocelum. How does it move? How does it move? There's muscles, and if you look really closely, we'll get like the hand lens that was here earlier. Um, there's muscles, these muscles here, they run vertically up and down, and so the, the worm can squish kind of side to side, and that's what allows it to wiggle and squiggle. It has nerves in there and stuff? Um, not a ton of nerves. These, this is a parasitic worm, so just like all our other parasites, it doesn't need to be able to detect its environment because it's living internally. If it was an external or a free living one, um, then it would have to detect its environment, find food, watch for predators, that kind of thing. But when it's living internally, it doesn't need that. So it appears degenerative, but it's not actually degenerative. So let's talk about the insides now. So all this really fine kind of stuff all through here, do you see all the fine 
the fine yeah, the, the fine noodles. All of that is <laughs> all of that is reproductive. Okay. There's a thicker one that we can kind of see here. It's already starting to dry out. Um, and then it runs, it comes kind of back down here, and it kind of runs in between all of this stuff here. So I was able to pull, oh, there it is underneath, these little layers off the end. You can see the thicker one right here, and that's the, um, the thicker one there, that's the intestine. So this is the, the reproductive and intestine, that's all that's in there. No, there's no like, liver, kidneys, there's none of that stuff. There's literally like an intestine for the entire way down and reproductiveness and that's it. Mm. Right? Surrounded by a pseudocelum and I want to actually scoot some of the stuff out of the way. So you can kind of see running along the back, there's that line that's running along the back there. Do you see that? That's the lateral line. Oh. So does he have like a brain or is it kind of like... <coughs> no, it's not like the other worm. No, there's not like a, a nerve ladder running up to the brain. There's, no, there's none of that stuff. Because no. it doesn't need a... No. no. And then there's the muscles that run along the side. So this on the outside would be the ectoderm. The mesoderm's on the inside. The intestine that's running down here would be the endoderm. And the space between them would be the, meso or the um, pseudocelum.